Hey guys, this is Dan. A um, little bit different setting today. What I've been doing recently is I've been playing with different um, types of friction fire, specifically with all natural um, elements. So it's been a little bit tiresome at times, but um, I think I figured out in the winter time at least, pardon the noise behind me, I'm not in the uh, middle of nowhere today. Uh, I figure out for the most part in a wintertime environment what type of cordage I can get a bojo fire started with if I don't have any type of man-made cordage. And in the summertime, of course, you can use roots, some types of vines. That inner bark from a tree isn't too hard to get out and make cordage. But in the winter, stuff's frozen up, there's snow on the ground, you just can't get to everything that you want to get to. So I try some alternative methods, and it seems to be working well, which I'm going to show you in a bit. So what I've been doing was, I'm using tulip poplar. This is inner bark from a dead tulip poplar tree. I just peeled it away. Now this makes great bird nest material, but what I've been doing with this is making a quick down and dirty cordage, and I'm gonna show you how I put it on my bow. Basically, I'm just taking this inner bark, and you can use as many pieces of this as you want. What I've seen though, and at least in my experience, is if you gather enough of this, after you make your initial burn in, then go ahead, switch your cordage out with more because it's so quick to make it this way and actually get your ember. Trying to maintain that cordage through both, it's really tough. It can be done, but it's tough. So, what do I do to get this started? So I'm just taking this inner bark, I'm not processing at all. I'm gonna take it and I just put a half hitch in. Okay, that's it. Now, I take my knife, and I have the top of my bow split, okay? I baton that a little bit. And I'll just open that up and work my cordage in. You just gotta be careful when you do this. You don't wanna open up your wood too much and have it split out. Okay, so now it's in. I pull my knot to the edge. So what I'm gonna do next is, real simple, just start to turn my cordage just like this, my inner bark, okay? So I just wanna to start to turn it. Now if I have any stragglers, I'll touch them up later, or pull out any spots of this that I really don't think I'm gonna need. I like to wet it a little bit. This stuff dries really quick. It's not gonna hurt it at all dry. Okay, I'm going to get a little wet and then dry. And I'm just going to work this all the way down. To the bottom of my bow. And once I get down to the bottom, I can put another half hitch in. Okay, and then what I like to do is I like to take some of this that I did pulled away or I had some just small scrap pieces laying around of that inner bark. And this doesn't have to be anything fancy. And I basically just tie it onto my bow. And that eliminates having to try to tie any of this cordage into knots, tie it into any kind of lashings or anything like that and again this makes it super quick you don't have to sit for a long time and make cordage you can make this as thick as you want just by adding more inner bark and I just finish that off and I have it tied off like that top I could do the same thing find another piece of scrap stuff laying around Lash that around a few times. There we go. Now you don't want this extremely tight because of course there's not going to be as much give as natural cordage. You'll break it, okay? So that's where we're gonna start at. Now I'm probably gonna tighten this up a little bit more. I'll take my time a little bit, but I just wanted to show you guys you know, how I'm making this. So I'm gonna actually untie this, take my time a little bit more, and get this nice. Now, 
once it's done, if we have any stragglers, you can go through with your knife and trim them. If you had any kind of wax or anything like that, put a little bit on and also get this a little wet. Specifically, if you're going to do this before you even made your set, you know, don't be afraid to wet that a little bit and really get that to bind together and fall into place. You know, that could have been spun a little bit more in some spots. So you just want to make your adjustments, clean it up, moisten it up. And get started. So I'm going to show you a little bit of footage of me working on this. A little bit different technique than a normal conventional cordage that we would carry with us. If you're using natural cordage, we really don't want any friction on this. It's going to make it pop. Also, um, when I do my natural, when I do my man-made cordage, I always keep my spindle on the inside. This seems spindle on the outside much better because of the angle of your spindle, so it really stays on a lot of friction. So that's how I make my cordage, uh, natural cordage in the winter time for a bow drill fire. Not much of a tutorial as far as how to do the bow drill. I'll do that in the future, but for now I just wanted to show you guys this because it's something I've been playing around with. Um, a little more videos to come shortly. I hope you enjoy the next short segment. Thanks, guys. Okay, guys, so first thing we're going to do is burn in. Um, and this, of course, is going to start to wear away at our natural cordage. So, as in my case, I make sure I gather enough. Once I burn it in, I'm going to switch my cordage out, and that's going to help with the overall duration of this cordage. So, we don't want any friction on friction. So, you're going to see I'm going to hold the angle of my spindle actually forward it's not going to be straight up and down as with um, current day cordages with natural cordage you don't want your cordage to rub on itself so you actually want to lean your spindle a little bit and keep that cordage apart from each other so i'm going to load this up i already have my small notch cut Okay, so we got this burn in. You can tell my cordage is already starting to fray a little bit. You can see how much it loosened up. So I'm going to readjust the way I showed. Fresh stuff, cut my notch, and we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, so I have my notch cut in my fireboard. I have a piece of birch bark here. To catch my ember and when I use natural cordage from the experimentation I've done you don't want your spindle on the inside you want it on the outside it just rides much better so I've loaded just like that so it's on the outside get myself comfortable here Let that dust build. Now, carefully, 
Remove that board. Just give it some air. It's pretty cold out here today. It's around 15. So we are battling that a little bit. That's why I have this wool blanket down. I have some tulip poplar here. Inner bark shredded. To catch my ember. So that ember is looking really nice. I actually have so much dust. Some of it's coming off my catch here. So just want to turn that in. Just take my time. You don't want to rush this. And a lot, I have a lot of wind blowing through here. Let the wind do some work. You don't have to kill yourself. Remember, you need depth in your bird's nest, too. There we go.